Hi, today I want to do another foundation uh, first impression demo review video and um, this is the new YSL or uh, Yves Salon um, Touche Eclat La Tint Radiant Awakening Foundation uh, I got this in the sample size as well as the Touche Eclat Blur Primer so Sephora was having this like a deluxe sample sized um, I guess uh, gifts with purchase um, so I made a purchase and uh, I put in the code and I'm not sure if they're still available and I'm not sure if these is these are for the VIB Rouge only or something but I got these two and I would like to give them a try um, I heard some good things about the blur primer they're both 10 milliliter like 0.33 fluid ounce which I think is pretty decent size for um, samples so I decided to just do like a first impression demo review video of these two products together I've been having some like really weird skin issues it just like sometimes it gets dry sometimes it gets kind of oily um, and I just purchased the Marc Jacobs um, primer and I really like it um, so I want to you know give this a try as well since um, I heard good reviews of the primer I'm just looking for a good primer just overall to kind of prep my face for anything on top of it and then also kind of in the way it's like nourishing and good for my skin so um, this primer it says uh, blurring and illuminating primer maximizing skin radiance and it says it's a gel fluid universal oh wait it says a, it's a universal gel fluid type of texture um the gold cap and then clear type of primer with like gold sparkles or shimmers so i was watching tati's video and then she did a um review of uh, like a 75 dollars like primer from guerlain um, and it has like real gold flexing it as well so I don't know if it's kind of like the same thing or maybe the girl line ones is even better because I th I don't think this retails for 75 I will link the price and information down below as a gel base which I think it's great for combo skin or oily oily skin um, so hopefully it doesn't have like too much of a silicone type of feel to it um, and I don't know how well these golden like sparkle is gonna show up on the skin. Hopefully it's not like super crazy like um, but since it's a, supposed to be like a primer base, um, maybe the foundation will go on and it'll give that kind of glow from within lit from you know lit from within type of glow um, because 2016 is all about just pure natural like glowy skin like just and I'm I don't know why I don't know if it's because I'm jumping on the trend usually I don't really follow the trend but I think that I always prefer like a really natural type of looking radiant well I used to like um, I always like a natural type of finish looking skin but sometimes like I prefer a more like a mattifying type of texture um, you know for my skin because I tend to get oily on my t-zone and in the summer so I don't really like that super oily shininess um, but I don't like to pile on powders and everything you know and sometimes I feel like as you age you don't really want to get like a super mattifying type of foundation because it just it you know tends to like make you look even older so um, I've been trying to focus more on skincare and it just like focus on trying to take care of my skin and then you know hydrate my skin because sometimes people have the wrong impression of like just because you have oily skin or combo to oily skin you have to avoid all type of like moisturization but that's not true because um, I don't know if you know that you probably already know that sometimes your skin gets super oily is because maybe it's lack of that cert the moisturize the moisture that it needs the pH balance is off and that's why your skin tend to overproduce the oil so yeah it's kind of interesting if you think of it uh, think of it so it's very in important to maintain maintain that skin pH like pH level of your you know moisture um, in your skin 
so I feel like I really need to kind of take care of that aspect um, so things like this I got gets me pretty excited because a gel based type of um, moisturizer or primer or anything I think it's it goes on really nice and hydrating but without feeling greasy because it's so lightweight that's why I like the Marc Jacobs um, the first foundation from Marc Jacobs the first liquid one because it's a kind of gel base and it just it blends in really well and kind of plumps the skin a bit and it just doesn't feel greasy and it doesn't get greasy throughout the day right off the bat this has a little like spatula type of um, applicator um, it's made of plastic it doesn't really have much of a scent which is great it does take a little bit well this is a lot actually um, and then I'm going to dot and I don't have anything on my face except for a um, like serum type of thing after I like spread it evenly over my face like I can see like little gold golden specks like on um, my fingertips so I'm sure that it's all over my face as well um, like shimmer particles or maybe like micro glitters like on certain part spots on my, of my face and people might just say like oh my god you have like a little glitter there or you know over here or there so um yeah we'll see how it work you know we'll see how it looks like after i use the um the foundation on top of it hopefully it will kind of like cover up the um the golden like micro uh, glitters on my face and then just to show you like i'm having some problems right now like little blemishes like here and there um i just did like a deep cleansing type of thing like last night so usually my skin acts out like right after i do that deep like once a week type of cleansing and then tomorrow the next you know the second day or third day will get better eventually but it just right now i have little blemishes like um so this is the radiant awakening foundation and this actually has spf 22 in it so that's pretty good it says it's weightless luminosity and i got this in the shade b50 honey honey um i believe this was the lightest shade um that was like i guess available um i think they offer like another lighter shade yeah i think they offer like number 30 50 and 70 but when i order place my order i think there are only two shades left so i opt for b50 which is honey so i'm not sure it might be too tan like too dark for me right now since uh, my tan has faded the same thing it has like a spatula like a plastic spatula and uh, this uh, is a liquid foundation but I'm I know that they have a fluid type of foundation which is like a serum fluid type of foundation that's very thin and liquidy um, this is a liquid foundation it looks like it's a little bit just a little bit thicker than the fluid one place a little bit on my um, hand it is a, a little bit on the runnier side and I'm just gonna dab it yeah it definitely looks really thin maybe I'll get away with it if I um, get super tan again but I'm just gonna like since this is pretty liquidy actually feels very thin um it almost feels as thin as the Maybell the maybelline fluid fluid foundation but since i applied the primer with my fingers i'm gonna lightly just kind of like blend this in so as you can see it does cover up um, redness imperfections pretty well but I'm surprised I actually like worked out um, it's, it's pretty good it's kind of like almost like I have my regular foundation and I just apply like a uh, light layer of bronzer over my face but it really doesn't look that noticeably like too warm or orangey or anything so if anything I think it just give me like just a slight little bit like a slight of 10 
and I think it's beautiful. The finish is beautiful. It's like a natural type of finish. It doesn't look yeah, it looks more like a natural finish in person, like in the mirror. On camera, it definitely picks up that like glow effect. I think that's probably from the might be from the primer itself. It quickly just evens out my skin tone and then it kind of covered up this red spot, you know, just a little bit. Just now it's kind of like peeking through a bit. Um and then like I didn't you know you saw I didn't really apply that much I literally just did like a dab and then just apply that over my face and I think if you want a, a little bit more of a fuller coverage you can use a brush or you can use a sponge definitely for like a fuller coverage but just right off the bat the foundation itself it's also has that very like fresh cucumber scent which is kind of interesting um, I don't mind it out at all. It's it's way better than having like a full on like fragrant type fragrance. Have that light cucumber scent. It's actually pretty refreshing, and I think that's what they're going for. They're going for that kind of really natural second skin type of like no makeup makeup look, and I think this definitely achieve it. Um, I really like how it feels like weightless. I feel like the primer actually um, went on. A little bit more heavier than the foundation itself the foundation is actually really like because you saw how it's kind of runny in a way but it's also not too liquidy like the fluid serum type of foundation so it's kind of like in between of a liquid and a serum fluid foundation and I like how it has a SPF 22 so it's um, good enough for you know like an everyday wear and then if you want to use like um sunscreen underneath you know that's that's really good too or you can use like a setting spray that has sunscreen in it or setting powder with sunscreen in it um it's always good to protect your skin and uh, have like spf in it just in case if you forget to wear sunscreen and i really like how this looks on like camera it <clears throat> definitely looks like very like illuminated and glowing and um I feel like with the foundation on top, it actually covered up the pore just a slight bit. Um, I still feel like this primer emphasizes the pores on my cheek area, which is pretty rare for that to happen. So, um, and I like how this is so lightweight, so it doesn't like get caked up. It doesn't look cakey. It looks really natural. And it looks and it doesn't like sink into fine lines or anything because I'm getting wrinkles underneath my eyes and yeah but it doesn't like make it look you know like it sinked into fine lines or anything and it's really easy to blend as you can see in the demo so um I I don't think at this point I'm a fan of the primer or if anything I'll probably use the primer on my face where there's no pores not no pores no like visible pores so it, it doesn't accentuate the pores even more uh, make them even larger um but i think i prefer the foundation way more than the primer but anyways i hope you enjoyed this first impression demo review video of the ysl tusha club blur primer and the radiance awakening foundation um please Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.